nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, everybody! Well, guess what? It is Friday! <laughs> and we are going out! Can you believe that? It's been a while since we gone out on a Friday, hasn't it? Yes, it has. But it looks like a gorgeous morning out here today. It's a little on the cool side, but what can you expect? It's the end of October. It's actually the 30th today. One more day in October and that's done with this year. Yep. Well. We are going to Phoenixville or Phoenix Valley or whatever they call it, Pennsylvania. Now that's a very, very nice trip. It really is. So sit back, enjoy the ride with me, see out of the window what I see. Now I guess in the corner you'll see me pop some popcorn and let's get the weekend started what do you think <laughs> come on four-wheeler all right there you go anyways I'm having a fantastic day I'm feeling good I'm happy that I got a nice long trip like this it's 2600 kilometers don't know exactly what it is in miles, but it is a nice trip. And my wife prepared me a good cup of coffee in our brand new uh, coffee mug that we got from Penners. And we're going to test it out. She poured it probably about an hour ago. You know, it takes a while to go to the terminal and pick up all the paperwork and fill out the logbook and do a pre-trip on the trailer and tractor, right? Takes a little while, so... I haven't even tried the coffee yet, but we will. Yeah, I'm actually we'll kind of wanted to test it out and see uh, if it's true from what people been telling me. They've been telling me that it stays really long, hot, and this particular cup or this particular brand is known to have really good coffee mugs so I'm gonna test it out I really want to and that means I might start drinking more coffee in the morning you know man that bus looks like it needs to be washed <laughs> looks like that bus hasn't been washed in a long time well actually we can just stay on this side of the highway that lane closes there on the right so we're going to Mitchell right now yeah we got the pleasure to uh, go through Pemina again I like Pemina border better than any of it. not particularly the border but I like to go that way better than going through Roseau Minnesota and here is why the reasoning why is it is higher speed limit to begin with and you don't have to go through a whole lot of towns you know I can just set my cruise and don't have to worry about nothing you know when I go across Roseau there's bunch and bunch of little towns narrow roads I got a turn on a lot of corners um, a lot of towns where you gotta slow down it just you know it is a probably a little bit shorter but at the same time it slows you down it, it I'd probably take you more time to go through there than I would to go around on the, on the Pemina uh, crossing here you know on I-29 because here I can just set my cruise and I go don't have to slow down I don't really have to make a whole lot of turns you know but the only turn I have to make probably all day long today would be a 
if I take an exit to go to a truck stop or the only uh, ramp that I have to really take is uh, in Fargo when I turn onto uh, 94 off of I-29. That's about the only turn I have to really make, you know. And uh, man, I'm just really impressed with these new headlights. I didn't think it was going to be that much of a difference, but it is a humongous difference with these new headlights. I mean, it was still a little bit dark, but not very dark this morning when I uh, started up the truck and I turned on the lights, and I mean, I couldn't believe how much of a difference it makes, you know. I could even, you know, when I was driving over there to Penners, I could even see on the street where my headlights were uh, shining at, you know, and it was all, the sun was always uh, pretty much up already, you know, it was, it was not 100% bright out yet, but very close, you know, and that was impressive, I never remember the lights being that bright, you know, so that's super, super good, but it feels like we got a crosswind right now, the wind must be coming from the south, so I might have to go against the wind today, but I guess only up till Fargo and then it will be side wind again, right? <laughs> Unless the wind changes directions, but anyways, this video is, uh, or this, this clip is starting to get a little long, so we'll cut it. I want to show you some other stuff yet today too, right? Anyways, it's going to be a good day. Thank you for joining us today. And that's, uh, that's right along with us and enjoy the day here we go guys we have just crossed the border and I just wanted to show you the lineup on a Friday to come back to Canada I mean look at all these trucks they're all coming back for the weekend you know they all want to be home for the weekend so would I want to be home on the weekend of course I would of course I would want to be home on the weekend but as a truck driver it is not always work that way some freight has to be moved on a weekend you know we move on the weekend and then uh, deliver Monday morning you know some products they have to be there Monday morning or some products they want them there maybe even on Sunday so that way they're all stocked up for the week you know like for instance grocery stores and stuff like that yeah but here we are we are back into North Dakota I know you guys probably are getting tired of seeing the same thing every day but yeah, that's where we go hopefully I can make up with uh, my conversations on this uh, hopefully I can make up uh, the video to be interesting enough with the conversations that I make that it is still interesting enough to watch the video, right? That's where I was getting at. I have to sit back and think about exactly how I was going to word it, but hey, that's all right. So let's put the hammer down. Let's go. Well, yeah, guys, we are almost in Minnesota. Yes, sir, Bob, that is correct. We've been cruising for good while already yep well that's a few hours you know from the border up to here I stopped in Fargo for a little bit took my half an hour break and here we are we got 101 mile to go up to Wilson Wisconsin and that's where I'm gonna be calling it a day yeah I only will have about 1107 miles left to go once we get up to Wilson, Wisconsin, we'll have to stop in there anyways and get some fuel. I'm almost on the red already, so uh, we're definitely going to have to get some go-go juice. That's right. Although it's been fairly windy today, it seems to be getting uh, out of the south. From the south, the wind is coming. I've been uh, all right, you know, not too bad with the wind hitting me from over there. But uh, it's been uh, fairly sunny today. It's been a good day. It doesn't really feel like Friday today. It feels more like Saturday, but it really is Friday. 
which it's like 4.45 right now. I'm a little bit scared of coming into Minneapolis. There might be a little heavy traffic in there. I might be, maybe not, maybe yes. I don't know for sure. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Actually, there's a rest area coming up here. Maybe I could pull in here and wait a little bit. We'll have to see, maybe I'll do that. You know what, I think I will do that. I think I'm just gonna do that. It's been a few hours since I've stopped, stopped any of this, right? So why not make a pit stop here? I need to go use the restroom. Make a little bit of a pit stop in here. I guess that will uh, at least get some time off and then uh, I'll make it a little easier probably to go through Minneapolis. So Continue on this that's road what I for want. Miles. So anyways, we'll go in here and do our thing and uh, We'll see you guys a little, a little bit later. Well, I guess that's it. We wasted a little bit of time in here. Did our uh, circle check, like kicking the tires and stuff like that. So uh, here we go. We're going to go get back on the highway and see what Minneapolis is going to look like. That's right. Hopefully by the time I get into town, it'll be about another half an hour. It'll be about well, 5.45. Hopefully the traffic has died down pretty good, you know. So it's gonna be a little later by the time we get up to uh, Wilson, Wisconsin. Probably be what, seven o'clock? That's all right. We'll fill the truck up and go park. Maybe we'll go take a shower. So to fuel in there, right? That's right. But that felt good though. Stopping in there and going for a little bit of a walk walked around in there for a little bit you know that feels good especially after sitting uh, for a few hours you know well, that's good anyways let's put the hammer down let's get through Minneapolis was a little boy I couldn't wait to see The angel in that little country store Cause I heard people talk about How she helped those in need And was precious to the families who were poor I went to that little store And I looked all around But didn't see an angel anywhere So I ran home to Mama And told her all I found Was a little gray-haired lady sitting She said, you'll see no pretty wings or flowing gown of white. You won't see a halo glowing bright. Cause that little gray-haired lady behind the counter by the door is the angel in that little country store. Set 
there for many years Humble as could be Never knowing just how much she was adorned Or how she touched the hearts of those Ever blessed to see The angel in that little country store No, you'd see no pretty wings Or flowing gown of white And you'd see no halo glowing bright Cause that little gray-haired lady Behind the counter by the door Was the angel in that little country store God bless the angel in that little store Well, guys, we are in Wilson, Wisconsin. Yeah, as you can probably tell, I've had a nice shower in here. I filled up, so I figured, well, I can get a free shower, right? Well, I know here at this uh, quick trip stops, truck stop here at exit 28, they got all kinds of stuff uh, in there for sale. It's very nice for truckers to stock up on food and stuff like that. So, uh, guess what? We stocked up on a little bit of food. Let's check this out. Oh, look at that. We got a couple of pieces of chicken breast in there. I'm gonna make, a, cook a couple of chicken breast and I will make a couple of sandwich out of that. Got me them uh, sandwich buns over there. I got me a few bananas over there. And they got all kinds of stuff. Like they got onions, tomato, I mean, they got even some beef meat in there, they got some steaks in there, everything. I mean, it's really nice, you know, it's uh, maybe a little more money than maybe at a Walmart or whatever, but uh, I needed it and uh, I just figured I, you know, I've been wanting to eat out of the truck a little bit more over the while, last while, so I figured that's my opportunity, right? So we'll see how long it's going to take us to cook that... Uh, chicken breast hopefully it won't be too terribly long but uh, we're gonna eat out of the truck tonight that's for sure well guys that's how I look that looks like a fantastic meal got my strawberry got some orange juice right here oh that looks like a good dinner to me so let's get to it well guys that's it we are done our stomach is really full that was some awesome sandwiches I have to say I don't even think I can buy good sandwich like that in a truck stop I have had good chicken sandwiches at truck stops but these were real chicken breasts that was some good sandwiches that's for sure now I know that's part of a trucker's life sometimes we cook in the truck and I know I've been terrible in the last while of showing that you know but here it is, today you got it. You might see more of it, and if you guys don't like it, well, just let me know, then we won't be showing that anymore. But anyways, we are ready for bed now. So thank you for joining my vlog today, watching my vlog today. And if you got anything to say, hey, you know where it is? Right down there below, you got a comment section in there where you can leave a comment. If you like to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, all that fun stuff, there's a description box. I got all the links in there, I got email in there, I got everything in there. Got a little bit of a description of my self, I guess you could call it. And uh, check it out. So with that, we'll catch you on the next one. behind me that day is gonna come